One of the main problems, there's actually two problems when you're shooting out on a beach. Uh, one of them is the light is coming from directly overhead and so tends to put a shadow on your, uh, that comes off your, your eyebrow and get, puts a ring around your eyes and so you look, they call it raccoon eyes. Okay. It's made worse when uh, the camera, which is the second problem, it automatically compensates for the brightness out here. The sand and the sky and everything are so bright that the camera stops down or uh, decreases the exposure okay. and makes the, the lights, the shadows in your eye even darker than they really All appear right. in real life. The first thing you could do is, and I recommend this with most point and shoots, they have um, a setting on it. It's a scene. It's called, they're called scenes that uh, automatically compensate for, for these bright conditions or dark conditions. You turn to that and then it comes up and there's a soft menu here and you can scroll through. You see these little scenes over here, foliage, snow, which is a whole lot like beach. Okay. Um, and then there's beach. Shut up. So what this is going to do is okay. lower the shutter speed so that it actually lets more light in uh, and lets, you know, the exposure come up in your eyes. Another thing that helps uh, with the raccoon eyes is you, and this is sort of against what you might think you should do, but mm -hmm. a lot of times in broad daylight like this, it's good to turn on the flash so oh. that it just kisses a little bit of light into the uh, sockets into your eye sockets so the shadows aren't so deep. You want to uh, take a little bit of this under your own control and you're shooting on one of the uh, partial manual settings like program or, or shutter priority or aperture priority. You can also uh, adjust the same effect by there's usually a little plus minus button okay. somewhere on your camera okay. and if you push that button you can see there's a scale here and you can actually change the exposure and see the effect right there on the screen oh, okay. and uh, to combat combat the raccoon eye uh, you would open the exposure up how do you pose people or tell people to stand well that's that's a an inter interesting question because uh, what happens is the best light is going to be them facing the sun which is also going to make, make them, them squint, squint more ah, okay. so a lot of times if you can find an area uh, on the beach that's covered, like if you're near a pier or under an umbrella, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's better if you go for the more diffuse light with more of a shadow on their face okay. and then it doesn't fool the camera as, as badly.